It was discovered in. With more on that, Mike. Randina, good evening to both of you. You know, it took three uh, weeks for them to identify Jelani Day's body. And now the graduate student's family is wondering just how long it will take to unravel this mystery. Jelani Day was the kind of 25-year-old who would call his mom every day. I couldn't imagine not talking to him. I haven't talked to my son in 30 days. But his distraught mother, Carmen Bolden Day, says she's realizing she'll never talk with him again after his body was discovered in the Illinois River. Jelani Day, she says, traveled the world, graduated from Alabama A&M, where he was a member of the track team, and decided to go to grad school at Illinois State University to study speech pathology. And I sent him two hours away to go to grad school. And now I can't talk to him no more. I need answers. Instead, she has more questions, as does Day's cousin. I would like answers. Our family would like answers. My Aunt Carmen would like answers. We would like to know who and why this happened. It, it's just a difficult case really to talk about. Um, you know, we're still doing our investigation. Today, Bloomington police outlined a timeline of the case. Just because um, Jelani was identified and the body was, uh, you know, located, that doesn't mean we're, we're done. Day was supposed to be in class when he disappeared. He was last seen walking into a cannabis dispensary the morning of August 24th. His family reported him missing the next day. A day after that, his car was found in a wooded area in miles southwest of Chicago. We collected a lot of evidence from the vehicle, um, and we were using a lot of that, um, you know, evidence to, to go through digital uh, data. That led to a massive 10 agency search. It seemed as if he'd vanished. Then, on September 4th, a body was discovered floating in the Illinois River. Authorities said it would take weeks to conduct forensic testing. Today, Day was identified using DNA and dental records. The dental confirmation um, was, you know, an important aspect that um, was helpful in identifying. Day's mother had spoken out this week, begging for more attention for her son, as the national media focused on Gabby Petito, which many say is an example of how race plays a defining role in missing persons cases. Now her boy has been found, but for Carmen Bolden Day, closure is elusive. Since I now have found Jelani Day, now I have to get justice for Jelani Day. And the LaSalle County coroner has not yet determined a cause of death. So still some more information to come out probably over the next several weeks. But right now, no closure for this family. Hope we will learn more sooner than later. Mike, thank you. Heartbreaking for his mom. I like to say this. I hear it all the time on many cases. When it's a minority person and there happens to be a white person at the same time having cases going on, I hear it over and over and over again. How if it was a white person, there would be more action being taken. And y'all can get upset with me if y'all want to. But from what I've seen in the areas that I've lived in, it's simply not the case. What I've seen, like where I'm at right now, there's a lady whose body's missing. They know she was murdered. The man's been arrested for the murder because they saw the photographs that he took of the woman's deceased body on his cell phone. They just haven't found her body yet. And it was a black lady and it was a black man. They were roommates. They were not romantically involved at all. This just happened on September the 11th. Today's the 24th. 
they've had four or more search parties that I know of since the 11th from here to Alabama. And of the photographs and the videos that I saw of the search parties, it was only white people out there looking for her body and dogs. I think that right there speak volumes. A lot of times those of us as minorities will be quick to speak up and say the authorities aren't doing the right thing or are not doing it fast enough. But where's the public to step up and help? My condolences goes out to the Day family. I think we all kind of knew that this is how it was going to end, but we were hoping for better. 